and we are one kilometer pretty much before I just passed the sign over there that said oh. <laughs> it's like yeah there's a Rocky Mountain house there's a I see the sign there's a arrow and or, what do you want yeah right after the when i was passing i was talking passing that canyon over there right and i said i don't want to go hiking because it's it's far from the from the road and then i passed the river but over there there was no stopping and i think it was north saskatchewan river and i'm thinking man i cannot stop and my gopro died but then i saw this pull out and I could feel that the river was right next to me. And here we go. Check this out. Isn't this gorgeous? No, <laughs> nobody here. This is my secret spot. Uh -huh. Somebody know. As soon as people see cars, they come right out. Yeah, there was a bridge over there somewhere. So I came somehow like that, like this. And that's where the canyon is, and that's the river. This is gorgeous. I think I see a bear. No, that's not a bear. Oh, and I see. I see people in the water. Far, far away, like the river goes like this. And check this out. I switched to Kelvin for white balance. And this way you can play with the blue in the sky. And I want to make it bluer. So now it's 4000 Kelvin. Yeah, I see people walking around there. I think they... Oh yeah, it's a shoreline. You can just... It's funny how those people stopped and they never even... They saw me and they were, they were afraid to come out. That's a bit weird. And the fall is coming. Yeah, see, like one guy was saying, but yeah, for a, for a couple, man. That's a spot for a romantic kiss. I'm telling you, I'm taking a picture, kissing each other, and uh, you know, like one of those selfies. And then, of course, when they when they separate, they have to tore that picture in half. Not pretty. Okay, house pass viewpoint. What I already saw. I already saw a pretty good. In 500 meters, turn right. You see? Finally. Highway 11, a Rocky Mountain house, a red deer. Turn right. Wow. So I did a huge circle south to Calgary and then west to the Rockies. North on 93. And I'm thinking that's where the park ends, probably. Yeah. 
Okay, see, I think this is where you have to buy. You have to buy the pass here. And this is it. So now we're on Highway 11. <sighs> Finally going back to civilization, but there should be quite a few mountains on the way. And again, a Rocky Mountain house, that's why I delivered the pipe layer. <laughs> If somebody two weeks ago would have told me that I'll be passing the same spot in a car, I would just slap them on the face, you know? That's just not possible. But here we are. Only, uh, what, 75 bucks a day for the car, $200, $200 for the hotel. By the way, the, the car just gave me kind of like a thumbs up and it said, you want to update the best mileage. Turns out, you know, I was just cruising, again, adaptive cruise control at uh, 92 kilometers an hour. And I see my average is 6.8. <laughs> 6.8. Like, I, I never could see those numbers in the Dodge Charger unless unless the engine is not running and I'm going downhill. <laughs> so yeah, that's one huge, humongous, atrocious advantage of these tiny baby cars is the... Uh, especially, you know, if you live in a, in a country where gas is expensive, right? But... For me personally, you know, I can afford a 10 liter per 100 kilometers car. And it's just so much more fun. Like, if I had my charger here, man, it would be so much more pleasant, you know. Because this car keeps shifting, right? It doesn't have enough power on heels. But the fuel economy is great. If that's what you're into, this is one of those cars that you got to... You want to buy and keep and cherish them till you die. Oh, Challenger. Hello. Now, what is this? Are we turning into a freeway here? I didn't think so. Saskatchewan River so it, now it's somewhere to my to my right and then it becomes bigger 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 and turns into a lake or reservoir or something and we should be able to see it over there yeah I saw this hill and I figured I cannot miss this Opportunity. And actually I just passed a guy in a car stopped on the shoulder. There were some views. And the guy had two cameras on two tripods. You know, that's where you can take some really cool shots and then probably even sell them. Oh, check this out. Looks like a blueberries. Man, I know I said no hiking, but
can see the river. looks gorgeous all right now let's see what we can do with this river over here and of course the sun is right in front of me but yeah this is a great spot you know Let's get back to the car and we'll continue our journey but this is pretty much the lake I mean the river I wanted to see but some 10 kilometers that way there'll be um and you can see people were walking here you see the grass is uh, destroyed so I'm guessing other people saw this because yeah this is gorgeous right like <laughs> nobody around but it's too bad that the camera cannot do this you know actually it's because this is a 35 millimeter lens like for something like this you need 50 or 70 millimeters and that would bring the river closer it'll make it wider because yeah I'm shooting with 35 millimeter it's it gets too small in the picture but you cannot have lenses for every occasion right so this is the most useful one for like as a carry around 18 to 35 I love this and it's very sharp on my camera because I mentioned this before I removed the, the anti-lysing filter send it out to a factory Oh, check this out looks like somebody even rode uh, either ATV or a bike in here because I can see the tire, tire marks in here can you really get in here with a bike it's like 60% heel I think man my knees still still hurt a little bit after that 4.3 kilometer each way track yesterday <sighs> yeah so over there somewhere like 10 kilometers it'll be much wider the river will create a lake Yeah, I see, I can see tire marks in here. Somebody drove in there and then instead of going like this, they went like this. All right, and this, <laughs> you see you can stop here. This is like right after that hill. And you see, but you don't have the elevation. But actually you do see, wow, 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 wow. 
do see lots of the water and the water is crystal clear all right so i have to stop somewhere here too yeah this river you know a, a lake or river with the mountains in the distance that's always oh check this one son of a a ram maybe he was looking for a, for a ride a ride to uh, Rocky Mountain Terrace you see the river is right there oh actually it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna get much bigger all right let's just set our cruise control I'm not in a rush and I'm getting a great gas mileage yeah if you want to pass Mr. Ford F-150 you go ahead but yeah that was a cool spot but man that hill was steep yeah I got out of breath I really should exercise more and I always say you know one you know when you go through mountains right like especially in a truck and it can be very scary you know up down left right poor visibility but then I always breathe easier when I see kind of like mountains stepping away you know you, you'll know what I mean if you go through like a canyon right and then the mountains and the big hills are right next to the road and then you get into the opening like this and you see mountains are slowly kind of like moving away and that's to me always like a sign of relief a sigh of relief because that's an indication that these uh, the road is getting out of the out of the mountains so the river is over there and it's gonna turn into a beautiful lake a little bit later on but you see you can stop anywhere there's no signs nothing that says you cannot stop see people are stopping there for some reason maybe they're going oh maybe they're climbing over there that's like nuts but maybe they're going Oh yeah, it looks like there is a trail over there. Can you really climb that crazy mountain? <sighs> Where is it? There's no cars. Five kilometers ahead. There's a broken line, broken zipper, you know, zipper as they call it, right? Why are you driving behind me? You know? see this Looks pretty good even on an on a iPhone. Wow, actually, yeah, it does does look pretty good. Well, let's see what we can do with that. We can do with a real camera.
best spot. I just took some incredible shots. Um, 300 millimeter lens came through and you will see these uh, at the end of the video but I managed to isolate those um, brightly illuminated mountains in the background and I only showed the water in the foreground without those campers over there there's a bunch of campers and they're white and they destroy the image but the water like the color you know this kind of like Lake Louise except there's no crowds and of course I'm pretty sure you can climb up there but actually no there's trees in there there's probably no paths and this way it's just 90 degree wall but I'm gonna stop again at the top there because um, let's see oh somebody tried calling me what Somebody's calling from Florida. Why are you calling from Florida on a Saturday? Because you see, I'm in the very beginning of this thing. And further down, look at this. Over here, it becomes much wider. So there's that point. I see the point. And after that point, it's going to be humongous. So I'm definitely stopping a little bit later where is that rocky mountain house okay how far oh we are what we are 62 kilometers away from what oh yeah yeah i didn't put in that uh, i didn't put in that uh, red deer red deer is probably another 90 kilometers this way yeah well but All right, let's just go around the lake and probably this is the last thing I want to show. Otherwise, the video will be like, I don't know, two hours long. All right, do we have the air conditioning on? It's like people were making fun of me about shutting off. So push and hold, nothing push wait push audio off okay but I want to turn off the screen why is it so difficult right push for sound camera why I cannot turn off the screen like in my car it's very simple just click push one button and the screen is black like I don't want to see this right because I'm recording I cannot use the music Yeah, this was cool you know because I saw there was a we were going down you know I didn't want to go down but man this is gorgeous and then yeah you can see people driving there <coughs> and you can get really close to the water but yeah I want to see that spot where hopefully you are overlooking this entire thing where um, where it's wider yeah check out the spot I found like this is the widest point on the Google Maps for this lake or river whatever it is but look at the color look at the color of the water it's unbelievable it's very clear
to change lenses again. I like that. Those yellow colors. Like this would be a cool picture. Well, bye bye River Lake. Time to get back to civilization and have some lunch.